Hello, my name is Sohib Kadri, and my team members are Wei Chen Q, Matthew Braun, and Tyler Ma. And our technical advisor and project client for this project was Dr. Stephen Knudsen. Our project is a seed planting robot. And the goal and, of, and outcome of our project this semester was to design and build a mobile robot that can navigate to and plant various seeds at user-defined locations. The prototype we created used a Raspberry Pi, which receives coordinates over Bluetooth from a math-based interface, in our case, a laptop or tablet, that, can, that the user can use to set out a planting route. Uh, the RPI4 used its onboard GPS system that we created. The Raspberry Pi used its onboard GPS to orient itself and navigate from point to point. On its route, the robot uses a LiDAR camera to survey its environment for any obstacles and avoids them. Once the robot is at its destination, its seed dispenser will release the selected seed and the correct amount. And now on to a demo. So to start using the seed planting robot, we open up our laptop and go to the seed planting robot website. So here we have the website open and you'll see we have an interactive map. On the map, we have my current location marked by this blue pin. And at the top here, we have a couple of options. So the first drop down here is the seed types. So you can see we have a couple of options to choose from. Next to it, we have the number of seeds to plant at each planting location. And I'll go and set this to eight. Then we have two map views to choose from. So we have the satellite view as well as the road view. Now to start planting seeds, it's as simple as just clicking and planting. So we'll click here and you'll see we have a seed, the seed type, uh, the seed amount, and if you want to delete it, just click on the seed. And I'll go ahead and plant a couple of seeds. Next, I'll change the seed to seed 2 and number of seeds to 6 seeds. Once again, we'll just click to plant. And if you make a mistake, just click to delete. And at the bottom left here, we have a legend that shows the color-coded seeds. Once all the seed locations are mapped, you can start planting by clicking the Start Planting button at the top right. So here you can see the website automatically computes the shortest route between the different seeds, shown in the green line. And this pop-up shows up where it starts scanning for the robot to pair with. So go ahead and turn the robot on, and it'll show up in this list. Simply click on the list, and then click Pair to pair it using Bluetooth. Back on the map view, you can toggle on and off the different layers. So you can toggle on and off each of the seeds to get a better view, as well as the path. Once the Bluetooth connection is successful, the coordinates of the route will be sent to the robot. As shown in this image, you can see that the robot receives the coordinates as a list of latitude and longitude coordinates in order of its position in the route. Once the robot is up and running, it will start to notify the GUI of its battery level, which is shown by this indicator here. This is our prototype design for the seed planting robot. As you can see here, it is equipped with an onion towel LiDAR camera for obstacle detection and avoidance. Uh, the robot also has two 17.5 centimeter wheels driven by two Pittman DC motors, each with a max voltage rating of 12 volts. The motors have encoders on them as well, which provide data on the turning rate of each wheel to account for tire slippage. That data gets sent to the Raspberry Pi 4, which is connected via USB to the LiDAR camera, and the rest of the devices are connected through the Pi's GPIO pins. 
One being a servo motor for controlling the 3D printed seed dispenser. Another being a Polulu dual motor driver shield, which controls the power being sent from these two UT1270 batteries to the driving motors in order to control the speed and direction of the wheels. And finally, we have an Adafruit GPS module, which receives and updates the robot's latitude and longitude coordinates using an Adafruit GPS antenna. A LiDAR camera works by emitting light waves that bounce off objects and return to the sensor. The time it takes for these pulses to return is used to determine how far objects are from the sensor. This is a heat map showing what our robot would see. All the different pixels are different measurement readings. Our ladder system uses the average of the distances measured to determine when an obstacle is close enough that it needs to turn. To choose between turning left and right, the average distance measured on the left half of the sensor is compared to the measurements on the right half of the sensor. If an object is closer to the left, the robot will turn right. Or if an object is closer to the right, the robot will turn left. Here our robot is approaching a box. It will keep going straight until the obstacle is detected. Now that the obstacle is detected, it is too close to the left so the robot will turn right. Once it has cleared the obstacle, it will keep going straight until another obstacle is detected. The 3D design of the seed dispenser is composed of three key parts. At the top we have the motor plate, in the middle we have the seed cylinder, and at the very bottom we have the selection disc. So how this works is that at the top the motor is attached to the motor plate and the motor plate is attached using the hex nut which fits into this cutout and the nut is attached to a rod. So this rod runs through all three components and connects all of them together. Now in the middle the rod is inserted down the middle hole of the seed cylinder. And as you can see, the seed cylinder is divided into two parts. At the very bottom of each of the compartments, there is a hole, as you can see. And this hole is where the seed is dispensed from. In addition, the seed cylinder has this pole for the servo motor to stabilize itself. At the bottom of the seed cylinder, it's closed with two holes for the seed to dispense and the middle hole is for the rod. Moving on to the selection plate, so this one also has a hex nut cutout for the nut to attach into and a hole in the middle for the rod. The selection plate has one hole for the seed to be dispensed on and it's attached to the bottom of the seed cylinder. So as you can see, this hole in the selection disc must align with the hole in the seed cylinder for the seed to be dispensed. It's neat. Uh, our GUI was successfully built. It is interactive and easy to use and it helps us plan a route and sends it to the robot. The robot communicates uh, with the GUI through Bluetooth and it can send its live location. The GPS navigation system was up and running and it can control the drive systems to navigate to the given locations. Um, that were put in by the user. The system also helps orient the robot without the need of an IMU or compass device. The LiDAR system is able to allow the robot to detect obstacles in its path and when it does detect an obstacle it can drive around it. After ordering a motorboard our drive controls were up and running. It can change the speed of the robot and the direction to navigate the terrain outdoors. And finally our seed dispenser can dispense one of two seeds that are stored within it to get working. We wanted to be able to count exactly how many seeds we dropped with the seed dispenser um, and to do this we had or ordered a light interrupt sensor but the specific part we had ordered had to be mounted onto a PCB and could it, couldn't simply be soldered on so we were not able to use it. Um, another thing was we wanted in our requirements we had uh, mentioned that we wanted to be able to wirelessly communicate uh, 
uh, with a distance of up to 2300 meters. We would have needed another external Bluetooth module to reach this range and because of time constraints we weren't able to order this new part. Another thing that we weren't able to do was accurately plant at the specified planting locations. We would always be within a margin of error. Uh, this was because of the GPS's limitations and the signal accuracy. So some future work that can improve the robot are as follows. A significantly larger and watertight chassis in order to operate in large fields with rainy outdoor conditions. Caterpillar tracks rather than tires for better traction on slopes and for slippery conditions. A motor to pivot the LiDAR camera for a wider field of view. A light interrupt sensor on the seed dispenser to automatically close the opening once the set number of seeds is dispensed. Support for more seed compartments to the seed cylinder. To make the coordinate points more precise on the GUI map interface. And finally, a smarter route finding algorithm to determine the most fuel efficient route and possibly even take into account terrain characteristics such as hills. In conclusion, the seed planting robot is an autonomous system for planting different seeds at user-specified GPS coordinates. It's equipped with autonomous navigation and object avoidance using LiDAR. We successfully designed and implemented a functional prototype. And special thanks to Dr. Stephen Knudsen, Dr. Michael Lipset, and Mr. Steve Drake for their support and technical guidance throughout this process. Thank you for listening to our presentation.